Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator lore video. So one of the most important things about actually working on a mod is taking time to do the textures and stuff. So one of the things that we're going to do today is, well the m main thing that we're going to be doing today is making some textures for a mod. I'm um, going to break it up into two parts like we did last time. It seemed to work really well for production and stuff like that for uh, the videos. So I'm going to take another time to do that. So the first thing that I wanted to do was like the next project is to make some trees. I mentioned that in a other video, I think the last one, that we could add some wood types and stuff like that. So I wanted to take some time to make some uh, log textures and some leaf textures today. Which um, basically is what I'm working on right now. I'm currently working on the actual logs itself. So I created a palette a while ago with all the colors that we are using in the dimension. And I wanted to kind of get an idea of what um, overall feel for the some of the existing textures and stuff like that. So right now I'm just kind of mixing in the... Um, actual textures and at this point I noticed that it was it was going to be too pixelated so what I started to do was just add some shapes instead so like cross sections and I think this will actually benefit the the look of it as well as the general feel of the biome so I want it to kind of be like a spiky kind of pointy bark texture similar to palm trees but on a more dense scale so basically what I'm doing is creating that texture for that at the moment. And then I wanted to make sure that it was seamless. I sometimes question my skills at making things seamless, but it looked pretty good for the um, actual texture. So I needed to come up with a name for the type of wood. So that was a lot harder than actually making the texture, oddly enough for me. But um, once I got that done, I knew that I needed a actual te like a hue scale for um the interior wood like the actual texture and i wanted that similar to oak but not exactly like oak um basically i wanted it a little bit lighter but i also wanted it to not be as light as the other scale that i have on that side so basically i was just testing if the scale was like bright enough where none of the colors matched and then we could basically use that now I thought about doing a square texture for the bark like vanilla Minecraft and then I'm like you know what that's not very challenging. So what I ended up doing was I started working on a round texture for the bark instead. Now I, I personally like it when mods and stuff actually um, especially resource packs uh, add kind of like a round texture for the bark. and It's a lot harder to do on 16 by 16 textures and there's always the corners that really are kind of a nuisance to mess around with. So this is basically what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to blend in the bark. And then I just noticed that it looked too, um, kind of, it was it was too soft around the edges. It didn't really match the bark. So I started focusing on the actual textures for the rings inside the bark itself. Uh, generally trees have rings uh, inside when you cut them open. Uh, it, each ring is basically an age of a tree so a lifespan cycle of that so i think it's measured in years or something like that so if there's more rings the the older the tree is so once i started doing that i started um, working on kind of getting rid of the uh parts that i just finished working on for the corners i brought it into the template and then i brought it back into here and then that gave us the texture for the bark but on the corner part so it still matched so i was happy with the result of that it looks really good so we were good to go on that one and then we just needed a grayscale for leaves now i started to work on getting the hue scale from the spruce leaves actually i want the leaves to be a little bit darker than normal and spruce leaves are i think darker than normal when it comes down to that so what I started working on was just kind of getting this scale and I moved that over and then I bridged the grayscale that we had with the other one and then I just started working on just some random shapes uh, for 
uh, the leaves. Now, this this part is it wasn't too hard to design the leaves as long as it's seamless. It's pretty easy to do. Um, when you start getting into the texturing, though, it's a lot harder to do actually. So. Um, I still haven't really mastered this part down for making leaves. I, I've always kind of, especially with the newer styles of leaves, I've found it hard to actually learn from that particular skill. But um, I think I did pretty good when I came down to actually designing these ones. Like, I know it's not the exact same uh, quality as Minecraft, but... Um, it's it's pretty close uh, for the shapes and stuff. I didn't want it to be the exact same as all the existing ones. A lot of the existing ones like birch, oak, and spruce are, or not spruce, but birch, oak, dark oak. I think acacia also has the same leaf texture. So I didn't want it to have all the same leaf texture. So I just started working on kind of like a actual thing. And I was kind of thinking with the lines to have that as like stems and stuff, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it turns out in game when we actually bring it into M Crater and set up the hue scale and everything like that. Uh, I was just filling in the parts that are around just so there wasn't so much gaps between. Uh, this is kind of important because if you look at the overall um, ratio, you don't want it too much where a lot of light will go through, but you know, like you can still see through the leaves so I was it was really important for me to make that all right after I was done that I just brought it into M Crater and then we were ready for the next episode so if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching peace out